الدكتور ستيفن فيكتور طبيب تعرفت عليه صدق ام لا عبر الانستغرام من بضع سنوات خلال زيارتي ضمن احدى اسابيع الموضه يعرف بدكتور لوبجود لامكانه ايجاد علاجات من شانها مساعده الاشخاص على الظهور والشعور بالافضل اصبح الدكتور فيكتور مقصودا من قبل المشاهير والشخصيات البارزه في عالم الازياء في اكتشاف وتطوير عدد من العلاجات والتقنيات التي تعتبر اليوم من أهم ممارسات مستحضرات التجميل الجلدية من بين مساهماته العديدة في ممارسة الطب التجميلي تقنية البيوفيوجن أو الليزر سكوت ما أهمية الخلايا الجذعية؟ وكيف تستخرج وتستخدم لمعالجة الزبائن أو المرضى إليكم الجزء الأول من مشواري مع الطبيب الأشهر في نيويورك والذي حصل على الممارسة الحكومية في مستشفى الإمارات في دبي So stem cells, the problem is the word stem cells been thrown around and thrown mm-hmm. around and mm-hmm. we do what's called, people call adipose stem cells and that's really a bad term also So what we do is we harvest a little bit of fat, and no one says don't take more fat. But in the fat or capillaries, never, never, never. Always, take more. The guys and the girls yeah. always say take more. So in the fat, there's these capillaries, and in the capillary walls and every blood vessel walls are something there's called nice stromal vascular refraction cells. What the media and what scientists believe it or not call stem cells mm-hmm. and they're your own stem cells so we use your stem cells that we take out of your capillaries and again fat's really easy once we take them out they become activated and we can use them for beauty we can use them for wellness but as you just asked we can also use them for all kinds of diseases so Such we, as. orthopedics we have probably injected every single joint in anybody's body we've grown back rotator cuff, we've grown back meniscus, we've done lower back, we've done 150 what the U.S. famous athletes, football players, basketball players, um, boxers. Instead of having surgery and missing a season, they come to us, we do their harvesting, we give them intravenously, we inject their joint, and they're back on the field in three weeks, as good as new. Living in New York, which is a city that has a, a booming uh, fashion and beauty industry, what do you think are the main misconceptions related to beauty that you would maybe try to fight today? I think in New York and the world and mm-hmm. social media, mm-hmm. everybody does what I do. Ten years ago on the island of Manhattan, you know, it's not a big island, There are about five, six hundred doctors like myself doing what we do for beauty, from Botox to peels to lasers to liposuction. Today, there's 7,000 people doing it. It's not because they love the business and not because they're good at the business. It's all about money. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, doctors today, when they see patients and their managed care and insurance, don't get paid well anymore. So the beauty business is self-pay. So they all take a weekend course or go on YouTube and they can buy them. They become injectors. They become injectors, they become lasers, and and everybody does it. What is the danger in that and how do you think the industry could be controlled? I mean, the danger is if I took a weekend course in anything, you'd think I'm going to be really good at it. My education is anywhere from medical school to to four years of residency, a couple years of practice and learning. Here you have a gynecologist, an open heart surgeon, and a dentist. Why are they injecting people's faces? Mm. It's purely because they, the companies will sell them the materials. They go on social media. They become a social media celebrity. And people go. And it's interesting. I'm speaking to a very sophisticated, beautiful lady. And she's talking about a doctor. And I said, did you ever Google him? Because if you Google him, it doesn't look good. And she, she said, I don't Google anybody anymore. I look at their Instagram. Instagram, that's it. Is... The number of people doing it is exponentially crazy mm-hmm. and, the ex- and the amount of quality work out of there is going way down. How Good job, Ed. Yeah. So real stem therapy for rejuvenation and beauty is very expensive. Mm-hmm. So it ranges in, it ranges anywhere from $25,000 mm-hmm. to $40,000 US mm-hmm. dollars. But, 
you're getting inside rejuvenation, so mm -hmm. you can feel younger, you'll feel better, you'll mm -hmm. think better, you'll get rid of your aches and pains, your libido will be better. Mm -hmm. We can do what a facelift does, but more importantly, you said you got PRP. I did PRP. Uh, did you like uh, it? I liked it. Yeah. Okay, so this is, this is PRP, 10,000 times <gasps> better. on a personal level when you're able to better the lives of these men and women that come in uh, for help? Well, I'm passionate about what I do. I'm passionate about the beauty world, the rejuvenation world. I love that. I love making people look good, feel good. It's, it's fun to me. I've been doing it for decades. And how are you planning to bring this knowledge to the regions, region, specifically the GCC? Will you be training other specialists? Will you be holding seminars and more talks other than your continuous visits here? So I'll come every month. I'll do the wellness and the beauty. Uh, we'll put the technology mm -hmm. in the hospitals mm -hmm. and we'll teach the doctors how to treat mm -hmm. the orthopedic problems, the autism, diabetes, concussions. We do all these kind of things. And depending on how busy we are, we'll figure out, because I have to be in New York too, mm -hmm. where I go, how I go, but I think actually this region is more open to it. I cannot wait to, uh, for you to have your hands on my face <laughs> next time you come here. It was a pleasure talking to Same you. Here. And uh, thank you for giving us all this information. And hopefully we can break some of the misconceptions about the beauty industry and the medical uh, industry that um, you know, we see online and everywhere else. And I hope this is uh, beneficial for younger women and it teaches them to take care of their skin at a younger age without having to resort to fillers and Botox and everything just because it's a trend. Wellness comes before anything else, right? It's all about beauty. So we Definitely. have a motto that health is wealth.